Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 44th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the PASSWD, that is the password file in the EDC folder in the file system. This is a very important file and it consists of a lot of useful information about not just your account but also the other accounts that the operating system has and uh, if there are more than one users then the details of all the users would be stored in this file and uh, we're going to check out the output of uh, a command that I'm just going to execute. Since this is a text file I can use cat to see the output of this file and remember uh, you just have uh, the read permission to this file so you can view the contents of the file but you cannot make modifications to it right you have to be the super user uh, to do that and uh, you know it's sort of easy to get around that problem but we're not going to do that we don't want to mess with the password file because it's very important and the system uses it uh, for you know a lot of things so i'm going to type in cat space the full path of the file which is slash edc slash P A W S W D. that's the name of the file and when I press the enter key you see that a lot of information pops up on my screen and on the first line you would see that you know information for the root user that is a super user is being displayed and on the last line you would see information about your own self right so since my name is Madhur and that's my username I'm uh, seeing um, information about my account on the last line of the output right so there are seven fields uh, in each row in this uh, text output and we're going to discuss all these seven fields. The first field is the username field, right? So since my name is Madhur, Madhur is being displayed. And uh, then the fee, the first field is, being, is separated from the second field uh, with a colon and the second field shows a symbol X and that's not just for me but for all rows you would see that the second line shows, uh, sorry, the second column shows the character X and what this uh, means is that the password for all these user accounts is encrypted and it's actually stored in another file which is also in the etc folder it's called shadow and uh, we don't even have read permission to that file and you know even if you would uh, view the contents of that file the passwords are encrypted so you won't be able to gather much information right so the first field is for the username the second field is for the password and the third field is the user id field it's also called uid and uh, you know you would see that uid for the root user is zero and uid for uh, you know almost uh, all the other user accounts is greater than uh, 100 right and uh, you know this is reserved root will always have the user id zero and also the group id which is the next field you know these two entries will always be zero for the super user and uh, from 1 to 99 these user ids and group ids are reserved for predefined accounts right that are created just when you install your operating system and uh, all user ids greater than 100 are allocated to system accounts or uh, groups that are created after the operating system has been installed right so that's uh, the third and the fourth field for you the third field is user id and the fourth field is the group id the fifth field ad, as you would see in this output uh, tells me the name of my computer now how would you know that i named my computer the destruction tool maybe i mentioned it in this course maybe i didn't but anyway when you install your operating system if you people remember while installing ubuntu you know uh, during one of the stages the uh, installer asks you to provide a name to the operating system and you know whatever name you type in then if you type in your full name or if you type in your contact number whatever thing you type in it will be displayed uh, in the fifth field in the output of uh, edc password right so i uh, gave the name the destruction tool that's why i'm seeing that here and the sixth field tells me my home folder right and uh, in this case my home folder is uh, a folder mother inside the home directory in my uh, file system and i've uh, opened my file system in the file explorer here and you would see that there is a directory uh, called home and if i enter the home folder and if I double click on the folder mother inside the home folder then you would see that you know I basically see the same contents as I would see if I directly go to places and click on the home folder right so this is actually I mean what you see uh, as an icon in the places tab uh, you know is actually a link to the home folder that's within the file system right so I hope you get the point and the last field that you would see that is the uh, 
seventh field tells you the default shell and you know it ju doesn't just tell you the name of the shell it also tells you the path right so there is a file or you know a program in the binary uh, sorry in the bin folder in my file system that uh, you know helps me execute all the programs and it's called bash and bash stands for born again shell and you would see that for some of these entries you actually have sh as a default shell and it's not really difficult to change your default shell but you know you don't have to really do that so that's it for now i wanted to discuss this file with you guys because uh, we will be doing some things in this course uh, you know that will need the uh, information about uh, you know the contents of this file and uh, you will understand pretty soon but for the time being i hope you had fun watching this tutorial and this is a very important file and make sure you do not mess with the permissions of this file because if this file gets accidentally deleted then your system will uh, stop working properly i don't think it will work at all you know if you shut it down and if you restart it then it won't start you know that's what i think uh, i haven't ever done that and i would suggest you guys to not do that either and uh, even if you are in a playful mood please stop yourself from doing that right that can be dangerous so anyway thank you guys for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one in which we will discuss something important again uh, so uh, see you later and please subscribe to my channel